Hi guys and welcome. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to change some of the files in the game to make it run to your liking. First thing you need to do is open up your file location of the game by right clicking the mouse on the desktop icon and clicking open file location. Next you go to your mods folder <coughs> and you select the mod that you want to change files in so this is a great Bannington fire mod double click it go to specs now if you're wanting to change the free play perimeters endless game settings you'll go down and you'll find that here it is you will right click the mouse and click edit <clears throat> right, so the first thing you'll come across is minimum duration between events value. That is the length of time between one event happening and another. So 50 is quite low, so that means that you're going to get faster calls between on that one. I normally set mine because I play fire missions and they take a bit longer. I normally set mine between 130 and 150. But if you want them to go pretty fast between, just leave them low or experiment with them. See what you want. The next thing that you may want to change, I don't like playing night time. So I like mine to stay during the day. So you've got the time speed factor value and that determines how fast the game progresses from day to night. And like I say, I don't like it to do that. I like to stay in the daytime. So I change mine to nothing. That way it will always stay on the, the time of day I start it at. The next thing you can change, but this can affect some mods. Um, you can put another couple of noughts in, in the start budget value and you can put a couple of noughts or whatever, how much ever you want and then save it. The only problem is in some mods that actually has a negative effect and it can make it where you can't buy fire vehicles for some reason or police. So if that does happen, you would have to go back change it back to the original figures well that's what that one does the next thing you will most likely want to change sometimes is the in, the initial wait duration value that is the length of time from the mod loading to you getting your ready first call so 8.0 is pretty quick Near enough straight away the, the announcer will come up. So normally you would want it set at about uh, 40 to 50 if your fire vehicles are and your ambulances and that are already in the station. Set it to around 40 to 50. If they're not and you need to bring your units off the map and put them into the fire stations and, and ambulance stations, I would set it around 150 to 200. The next thing you've got is your start value and that is the time of day that your mod will start. Mine is 11.30 in the morning. That's normally what I prefer it to be between 11 and 11.30. So I'll leave that. The next thing you may want to change as we go down is the train speed value. Most mods it's set at 240 which is about a regular speed that the train will come along. However, if you're having problems that your vehicles are getting blown up by the train, stuck on the track or, or anything, and you want to change that, you can change that to make it longer between the train coming. So if, if you very rarely want that train to come along, I normally set mine about 9.40. But 
if you want it on normal speed keep it on what it is then we come down to the events this determines how what events will happen in the game and how many and how many you will get so the first one is all the first ones are EMS calls so the, this is your, your fall event enable value is one whenever it's set to one that that call will happen in the game if you don't want that call to happen in the game you change it to nothing average frequency value and I don't know myself what the how the figures work on this but what that does is it determines how many times you're going to get that event so obviously because I've got it at nothing that doesn't make no difference to me but if if you had the event enabled you can fiddle about with that to determine how many times you will get that call and you do the same with whichever like as I don't like emergency and police calls I, I turn all of the EMS off and I change and I just have the fire ones now there's a couple of other things that you want to do here um, there's other things you can change um, like here um, You can change the distance value between the victim and the perpetrator. You, um, time the victim needs to detect the crime. Um, I'm trying to find one which. Where is it? It will be bomber. I think. Yeah, the bomber. Here you've got. Minimum time between the bomb explodes. So that's set at 90. So you got normally it's around about normal time. So from when that bomb call comes to you dealing with it, you got about 90 seconds in, in probably real time. So if you wanted it to have longer, change that figure. So now it will be 190 seconds. So that will give you time to, to find out where your bomb squad is get them deployed and get them there um, and this is the maximum time till the bomb explodes so that's a minimum time this is the maximum so that would always be higher than the minimum so you can change that value as well arm probability and percentage is the chances that the bomber will have a gun on him so you can change that to whatever figure you want and I'm assuming the higher it is the higher chance that he will have a gun on him and I think that's about it I think apart from um, there's another one I want to show you that's it, that's it. Um, no I don't think it's uh, it's not on that one that's normally that's probably about what you would need to change in in most of them of course before you finish you've got to save it so you'll save it and then that's it I can't emphasize once again before you change anything always make a backup copy of whatever you're changing put it somewhere on your computer that way if you make a mistake you can always put the original back in so that's your free pay enders now you would have to do this again if you want to change the challenge so you go into the challenge, edit, and you would 
do that to the exactly what you did in the last one but to the, the settings that you want it and you can do it with the um, campaign any of them like that one so that's how you change how your calls are going to come in the mod now the next thing you can do here is if you've got vehicles that are driving too fast for you like you know well there's some mods have you noticed when you when you play them you'll call out the emergency vehicles and they seem to take a hell of a long time to get to the call so what you do there is you go into your into your units go into your vehicles and you'll have your tech your police your fire your ambulance as i do fire missions i'd be changing them in here so you pick the vehicle that you want so engine one that's your engine one you've got all your things and you go to the xml file at the end right click on it click edit and this will determine I'll open it in full screen this will determine how that vehicle works so in the campaign missions of the mod if you were playing this mod in the campaign this vehicle will be available in all the missions at the top there price value of, of that vehicle is set up in the campaign that you set up 2000 so if you didn't want to pay anything for that or a small amount say so we'll just set it down to I only pay 20 for it that's all it's going to cost you so it will save your money the speed value this is where it determines how fast that vehicle goes so if say it was going too slow in your mod you can change this and it's trial and error you just test it and keep going and go in and, let's, and maybe you might change it to 100 go back into your play your mod if it's speeded it up enough for what you want that's brilliant you know if it still isn't fast enough come in here put it to 110 120 just keep testing it until you get the, the figure that you you want space value is how many people can be in that vehicle so if you if you've got two in it and you want six in it change the two to the six and this tells you what equipment the vehicle will do now that was changing it for the campaign one but you will also need to change it for the free play if you were wanting to change that so 20 speed value change that if you need to do that once you've done it click on save and then that's that so that's how you change speed of your vehicles and the price that you'll pay for them if it's costing you too much you can you can do that and that actually um, will save you changing the amount of money in the free play parts so that's that one let's have a look at what else there is we can change right here's another thing we can change with the game um, if you want the camera hack a lot of people want the camera hack you need to go to your emergency 4 config file double click it and open it now this is a, this this one is especially important but you save a backup copy of, of, of this before you change anything because if you mess this up it messes the whole game up so 
if you want the camera hack that I've got where it zooms quite low down, what you need to do is you need to come down to this, this where it says variant name e, E4 max cam pitch value and the first figure you need to put in is 74. 74. Then you need to look at the max cam's value and it's 6000. So you change that to 6000. Then you go down to the min cam pitch value and it's 47. And the min cam's value is 100. Then you save it and that will give you the camera hack to, to zoom in low. Um, trying to, um, you have to bear with me, I'm just trying to think of a few things that you might want to change. Um, so that gives you the camera hack. Alright, oh, yes, that's the one I wanted to show you. I need to find it. Now, this is to get your screen to your full screen value. So, if, if you've only got it in Windows mode, and you want the game to be in full screen mode, you need to find out what the value of your screen resolution is. find it but I've probably gone past it it's um oh there we go if you want to change your screen so it's your full size you need to find out what your screen resolution is variant name r dash y r e resolution value so mine is uh, an, an rs value so my screen resolution is 1366 by 768. So if yours was just an example, 2322 by 444, you would change the figures here. But I mean, obviously, that was an example. There's <laughs> no screen resolution that side. So mine is 1366 768. That's where you change your screen value to get it full screen course then again you save ah right this that's brilliant I'm glad that happened to show you if this ever happens what you need to do is you need to go to the properties Go to security right let's try this Maybe see normally you could do it inside and do that so we'll try changing something. There you go. Drag it out and do it off out of the game. I'll put that back. Now, normally, if you were doing the free pay perimeters or your campaign perimeters, and that happened, what you would could do is you got you just go into your security 
and you could set it to to do it but if you get that come up with anything just drag it on the desktop and do it it that will only happen while while it's actually in the game itself if you take it out and do it on the desktop it won't happen so I'm actually to grab that up because that shows you how to do that but like I say as always always make a backup copy of your files that way anything goes wrong you can put them back I hope that helped if there's anything else that I can think about I'll do another tutorial but I think that will cover you mainly for what you need to know thanks very much for watching catch you next time bye for now